996 Porsche 911 Turbo is one of those iconic cars from a truly golden era of automotive history, that being the early noughties. There were no limits to what car manufacturers could achieve during this time period, and the 996 Turbo was really no exception. In standard form, it housed a 3.6 litre twin turbocharged flat 6, producing 420 PS and 415 foot pounds of torque. Even with the manual gearbox, the 0 60 time was in a low 4 second range, and the top speed was getting close to that 200 miles per hour figure. Frankly, quite ridiculous performance for the time. In today's video, we'll be looking at an even more interesting variant, the 996 Turbo, but fitted with the X50 package. This package featured, among other things, larger turbochargers and an ECU tune, bringing that power figure up even further to 450 horsepower, with torque now sitting at a whopping 457 foot-pounds. This particular example features the six-speed manual gearbox, so it definitely has the cool factor. With the front splitter, fixed rear spoiler and huge intakes on the rear arches, my god does this thing have road roads. Jonathan in your 996 Turbo X50 package. Big thank you for coming down today by the way, I know the weather's more than grim. Yes, it could have been better but... Yeah, <laughs> got to do what you got to do I guess. So what's the story behind this car then? I think you just bought it right? Yeah, so this one I got just before Christmas. Yep. Um, it's me, it's me fifth 911. Wow. Over the past probably 20 year, 18, 20 year. Wow. Um, I started off with a 3.2 Carrera, yep. and then I went for a 996 Carrera 4, yep. um, then I went away from Porsche for a bit, then I got a 997, yep. um, and then I got the 996 Turbo, but not this one, the, yeah, the, the other one, one. Yep. Um, and then when I started, I mean obviously I've always been a fan of Porsche, yeah. I've always been a fan of 911s. Um, and when I got the my last 996 and started reading up about them, I, I, you know, I, I started reading about this X50 package, and I was yeah. like, oh, these. So obviously the the X50 package has got the the bigger turbos. It's, yeah. it's got the K24 as opposed to the K16. Yeah. Um, it's got I think it's got upgraded into coolers, and it's a marginally quicker car, you know, uh, factory. But I think it's a better base if you're going to do some modifications on it. Yeah. Um, and my other 996 Turbo, what I've got, that's, it's, it's, it's totally factory standard still, you know, yeah. it's got full main dealer history wow, from day yeah. one. That's really impressive. Um, and I just, I just didn't want to modify it. Yeah, I get um, that. There's an originality about them, isn't there? Yeah, Maybe exactly. Yeah. Change. Yeah. yeah. So, and then I've, obviously I, I'd kept my eye open seeing this one. Yeah. And I just decided to go for it. And, I mean, I, I now need to sell my other one, but... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you managed to do that. Those cars are very popular and in, in more demand than ever, probably, before. Yeah, days, I'd agree, be yes. I think it's just such an icon of the 996 generation, but also the early noughties in general. These high-power sort of performance cars with crazy stats. I think the 0-60 on this X50 is about four seconds flat with yeah. a manual gearbox. Yeah, that's Top right. speed of 190 miles an hour. This is crazy. Listen to that 3.6 flat six as well. It's absolutely brilliant. You can really feel the torque though. Once those turbos start to come up, it's just, it's about 457 foot-pounds in this, which is a huge amount for the weight. It's just a shame, like with the weather, you know, yeah. as we spoke earlier, because... Can't quite put the power down really, no, can we, today? No. But, uh, you know, that, that's the joys of shooting videos like this in England. It's April, but it's still very, very wet. Yeah, the April showers have turned into um, an yeah. April downpour today. Yeah, it seems that way. It's a great sound though, I think that flat six is just so iconic really. Last year I actually did a video on a 996 Carrera 4S 
and um, also with a 3.6 flat six, but of course that's naturally aspirated. And it's interesting, there are definitely some similarities, but I think despite them kind of sharing the same bodywork, a lot of, a lot of it, um, this just has serious road presence. Like the moment you pulled up in it, you can just tell, listen to that. <laughs> Feel the turbos there, God. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. God, that is serious power, isn't it? You know, it's, I mean, maybe, even that there, you can kind yeah, of it's feel just it with it to go, isn't it? Yeah. Twitching a bit. And I think that kind of shows the level of performance that you're dealing with, because yeah. despite the all-wheel drive, you know, it's still struggling for traction. But yeah, what an experience. I mean, and when you think, you know, it's a 20-year-old, well, yeah, over 20-year-old exactly. car. Is this 2003? This one? It's uh, yeah, this one's a 2003, yeah. but obviously the 996 Turbo. You know, the, uh, what was it, 2001? I yeah, think, I think so. yeah, 2000, 2001. I think they first came out with the X50. That I think come in in 2002, about a year yeah, later. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So it's just <laughs> struggling, but yeah, <laughs> it's just yeah. God, I mean. You think about a lot of these new cars and the way they feel quite docile. Yes. This yeah. is just completely raucous. It's a bit old school in that yeah, respect, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. But I think as well, it's got those two complete sides to it, hasn't it? Like at lower speeds, it's quiet, it's comfortable, it's it's that proper classic 911 yeah. type of thing. Well, that's what they say, don't they? It's, a, it's an everyday. S sports car, yeah, supercar, if absolutely. you like. Absolutely. Do you use this much? Is this going to be not not a daily? Are you going to use it every week or? So the intention is well, the intention with this one is I, I'm wanting to do some uh, track days with it. Right. Yeah. So I've I've had a few track day, uh, track cars yeah. over the years, <clears throat> and um, I've I just had no desire to do it on with me other one. Yeah. You know. Just um, with it being original. Just with it being yeah. original and yeah. it's it's honestly like a new car inside. Yeah. Um and I just I, I just couldn't do it. No, so. I totally get that. And you've also got to think about the wear and tear, haven't you? You know, just yeah, on everything, exactly. on brakes, yeah. on drivetrain, on the engine. That's it, I mean you know the I the last track day I done was in a I had an M three, the E ninety M three. Oh yeah. Um, and then at the end of the day, you've got obviously the cost of the track day itself. Yeah. And then I think I had to put new pads in at the end of the day. My yeah. tires weren't far away from the yeah. change and so. Before you know, it's over well over a thousand pounds. Easy over a thousand like, pounds, yeah. Plus all your fuel. Yeah, exactly. But you know, where else can you drive yeah. like you stole it? You know, exactly. Yeah. Uh, in England, we don't we don't have the autobahn. You know, the exactly. Nordschleife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. So. No, I totally get it. So yeah, so a few track days in this then. Are you, are you well, thinking about modifying it or? Yeah, so hopefully a few track days. Um, there's a couple of bits I want to do to it. Uh, not just for the track side of it, but just for the kind of comfort and, you know, like the head units. Yeah. You know, obviously very dated now. Yeah, yeah. So I want to, I've got an Android one to go in. Yeah. Um, that phone unit there, that'll be coming out now. Yeah, so that's I, I've cool, got actually. another you know the original side to go on there yeah the suspension i'll probably refresh that i'm yeah. still undecided whether to go coil over or just put new uh, shocks and springs on and, and obviously get the alignment geometry all yeah, sorted yeah. on it yeah but i think other than that there's probably not a great deal that i'd i'd need to do yeah well it certainly um, looks in great condition what's the mileage at 84,000? yeah it's maybe coming up eighty-five thousand. it's quite low really isn't it yeah age? yeah that's it um, and obviously this one's got the aero pack as well. Yes. Which yes. is a you know, different spoiler. Does this one rise up? It, no, speed? it's is just a fixed, fixed one this yeah. year. My other one does, but this yeah. one's just, um, just fixed. Yeah. Yeah, the last owners had the guy who I got it off had this um, 13 years. Really? Wow, yeah. 13 years. So he must have owned it then for 
really the majority of its life, I suppose. Yeah, I think so. I mean, a lot, a lot of these cars you find they have quite high owners because it's. Yeah. Sometimes it's just some like a, something to say. Oh, I've, I've had a 911, or yeah. you know, you get it. And, I think um, as well from the maintenance costs and things like that. Yeah. They put people off. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you know if these engines suffered with any of the uh, bore scoring issues or? No, I don't think they do. These are the they, well, these are a completely different unit. These yeah. these are the Metzger engines. Yeah. Um, you know, so they don't have the IMS, RMS, yeah, bore yeah. scoring issues of the other 996. Um, you know, the nat naturally aspirated ones. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's one good thing, I suppose. Yeah. Well, the, the all-wheel drive system in this is predominantly a rear bias setup. I think yeah, it's, I think it is. it's a viscous yeah. coupling. It's able to shift about 40% of the torque to the front, I think. So I suppose really it's still got a lot of that rear-wheel drive feel. Yeah, for sure. But the capability as well, if you need it like on a wetter day like today, or you know, even if you've got ice. It's just the stuff. balance as well, you know. Like yeah. It, it just feels planted. Yeah. You know, and I, yeah. I don't think there's... Like I say, I've had dozens and dozens of performance cars. Yeah. Um, where I've got this now, and I, I don't see myself selling it. Yeah. You know, I don't, I, I don't see see myself changing it. Yeah. I mean, the 997 I had, although that wasn't a turbo, um, that was a great car, but it, it just felt, you know, th this car for me is like a second or third car, you know. Yeah. So, it, it, like, I only use it to go on spirited drives or, yeah. you know, when the weather's nice. Yeah. And for all the 997 was good, it was, it like, did everything good, you know, it was, yeah. it just, it didn't feel as special as I think yeah. this feels. I think there's, yeah. there's sometimes there's sort of something nice about having a car that isn't as capable or isn't quite as good, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you've got those little things that you can just, the quirks, I suppose, of ownership. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, no, it's it's a fantastic example, it really is. And I think as well, if you're putting money into something like this, these are going to hold their value, they're going to go up in value. They're yeah, such you'd a desirable like to think so. car now. Yeah. 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 It's, um, I, I sometimes say that to my wife, because she <laughs> she just shakes her head, like, especially with us. So my other one, what, what I didn't say as well, my other 996 Turbo, what yeah. I thought is, is the same colour as this. It virtually <laughs> looks like the same car. Yeah, so the same. You can imagine the conversation. You know, <laughs> Why have you got two? <laughs> yeah, she was like, oh, so I said, oh, I'm getting a new car. Um, it's similar, you know, I, I said, what, what is it? I said, well, you know my other car, it's quite similar to that. Yeah. She was like, what, what do you mean it's similar? I said, well, you know, it's the same colour. It's This one's just got more power. <laughs> yeah. And obviously that conversation was a bit lost. Yeah, lost yeah. Lost on my wife, but she, like I say, she's good. She just lets us um, That's good. pretty much. Follow the passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, yeah. <laughs> Well, there's a boost gauge, isn't there, on the centre bit yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, there's different views, and I think normally, so the my other one boosts to, um, I think it's 0.7 of a bar. Okay, so yeah, what's up, probably um, like 10 psi, something like that. Yeah, so this one it does go a bit more, I'll, I'll yeah. see if we can see in a sec. Yeah, that's 1.1, 1 .1. Yeah. so yeah, it's just over 15 psi. It feels extremely capable though, it almost yeah. becomes more capable with speed. It's quite impressive. It's this way of just completely flying across land. Like I say, it's, it, yeah, it's just a shame that you can't yeah, you fully, know, fully unleash fully it light. today. But even that there, I mean, I my, my foot's not all the way to the, yeah. you know, to, to the, uh, to the floor. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost quite shocking really, just the pace it can carry. I think weight on these is about 15, 80 kilograms, yeah. somewhere around that. So. In terms of power to weight, it's certainly doing pretty well. I mean, that's it. So you, you know, back in the uh, in the noughties, you at, at the time this was, you know, like a supercar. Where obviously exactly. you've got a lot of the hot hatches where they're probably not that far behind it now. Yeah. Or even equal. Maybe yeah, it's, it's not equal to it, but you know, somewhere near. It's very true. I mean, if you look at like let's think something like the A45S, the new one. 
I think they're what 420 horsepower. It's very similar sort of levels to this, but back in the early 2000s, you know, hot hatches were mostly sub 200 horsepower. Yeah, this was course, just a completely yeah. different yeah. league of power and performance. <laughs> you can really hear I mean, the that, turbos, yeah. can't you? I mean, that didn't even kick in that much, really. Yeah. Yeah, it feels very capable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, before you know it, you're doing yeah. like illegal speed. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. <laughs> Not today, obviously. Not today, okay. but yeah. <laughs> Now, I really appreciate you bringing it down, Jonathan. This has been fantastic to check out, actually. I'm a huge fan of the 996. Uh, definitely something I would like to own myself at some point. So, it's been great. Thanks very much. Yeah, no problem at all.